I think we can all agree that ray tracing was by far the best feature out of Lumion 23, which meant that Lumion can accurately capture how light behaves in real life. This meant better reflections, refraction, shadows, and indirect illumination. Now fast forward to Lumion 24, ray tracing has progressed to improve on that experience. We get better ray tracing preview, better display of certain materials and 3D assets, and much more. So the real question is, how good is Lumion 24? That's what we're going to find out. First, let's take a look at some workflow improvements. These are small adjustments made to the user interface that are sure to improve your experience. Now for starters, the main menu has been relocated from the bottom right corner to a vertical bar on the left. This expands on the viewport and leaves a lot more space for you to work on your project. So here you have access to your home screen, saving options, build and photo mode, movie, panorama, and your settings. In addition to this, Lumion also lets you import the camera controls from your modeling platform. So this can be SketchUp, Revit, and Rhino. Now in SketchUp, I am very used to using the middle mouse wheel to orbit as well as the shift and the wheel to pan across my scene. So if I want to import these controls, I can go into the settings, input, and select SketchUp for my camera input options. With these adjustments, I can use those same controls inside Lumion to navigate around my scene. Now, another great addition in Lumion 2024 is that there are more options of the rule of compositions to choose from. If you are in render or photo mode, you can toggle this switch to change between different grid overlays. You will find the rule of third, the golden ratio, grid, diagonal, and triangle compositions. Now, in addition, we also have eight new preset styles. So if you click on custom styles, you can select from one of these to apply to your project. This is going to adjust any existing effects you already have applied, as well as add any new ones to create the desired style. In these new styles, you will find perfect balance between light, color, depth, and dimension that best suits your project. These are some of the main improvements I've noticed in Lumion 24, but if you want to check the full list of improvements, be sure to check the link in the description. Next, we have a very unique feature, which is parallax interiors. These are surfaces that showcase a fully developed interior project onto a single surface. If you look at our example, you can see a very detailed interior, but as you rotate, you notice that it's nothing more than a simple shape. To place an interior parallax, select place, effect, and select the parallax interior category. There are currently 25 interiors available, including offices, retail, and residential interiors, but I expect more to be added based on what I've seen in other platforms. Now for best results, you want to place the interior behind a window or a door in your scene because these are meant to provide a contextual background for interiors that are not part of your immediate project. As for the settings, you can adjust the brightness, and the height of each room. This is going to lock into the aspect ratio since you can't expand the room's length. And last, you can also toggle the lights on and off to fit your day and night scenarios. Now for fast placement, you want to hold out as you are moving your object to duplicate. This is going to ensure fast placement across multiple openings and use the replace selection tool to swap in another room. This is going to save you time if you have many rooms to populate. Next, we have landscape tiling option. This is a material option that reduces texture tiling in your material and gives your texture a more seamless look. So here's an example where the grass texture tiling is very obvious. The texture is repetitive and not very pleasant to look at. So to fix this, let's select the material, adjust the map scale slider if you need to, and under the UV coordinate tab, enable the landscape tiling option. So here Lumion uses a hexagonal map to eliminate the tiling and create a seamless texture. 
Not only is this option great for large landscape areas, but it also works well for most Lumion standard materials. So next we're going to talk about the ray trace improvement, which is by far the best thing about Lumion 24. Now first, we have fast ray tracing preview. If we take a look at this comparison, you can see how the preview in this version is much faster and closer to your final render. Now the best thing about this progression is that I can move around freely in my scene while maintaining a realistic ray traced preview. When I adjust my effects, the results are instant without any recalculations. Furthermore, the ray tracing settings have been optimized for best quality. And you can select between fast, balanced, high, and extreme. So those were the benefits for rendering. When it comes to videos, you can achieve a high quality output with ray tracing using far fewer samples and render up to five times faster. The new denoiser helps to reduce video rendering time, making it easier to manage realistic and dynamic animations in your designs. Next, we have ray traced glass, it means that your glass materials are more physically accurate. So when you use the ray trace effect, you will notice an improvement in your glass reflection, shadows and light interaction. In addition to the glass materials, we now have colored glass shadows. And if you've seen the Lumion trailer, we got a pretty amazing preview of this feature. Now to get colored glass shadows, simply make sure you have a color value in the color setting of your material. A white color will result in clear glass and other values will give you colored glass with the accurate colored shadows. Now in addition to adding more detail to a fully ray traced glass, you have two new settings. Emulated thickness adds real thickness to single plane surfaces. And absorption controls how much light gets absorbed by the glass in combination with the color. So as an example, I'm going to set my material color to white. Let's add some thickness to our glass. Increase the absorption setting. And change the color. As you can see, with fully ray traced glass, and using these new parameters, I get a more accurate representation of colored glass and colored sun shadows. Also with the progression of ray tracing, you will experience better display of 3D assets. And in Lumion 24, the 3D library has converted 2200 nature models to be fully ray traced. So you can expect the sunlight to filter through the leaves of the trees, the trees to reflect on mirror glass facades, and the shadows to be a little bit more detailed. So that's going to be all for this video. Now Lumion 24 is packed with so much more than what I've highlighted here in this video. So be sure to check the links in the description for the release notes. Now I also want to say thanks to Lumion for supporting the channel. This is of course our very first Lumion tutorial. And I also want to give a shout out to Oliver from Upstairs, Steven from Show It Better, Min from Architectural Inspirations, and Nuno Silva. Those are channels that I regularly check on for Lumion content. So they've helped me stay on my feet. As always, thank you for supporting the channel. Be sure to follow us on other social media platforms and I'll see you guys next time.